Hillary panics as Trump exposes six secrets she hid in shithole Haiti after hurricane. Hillary Clinton is in panic mode today as a comment President Trump made on Thursday in the Oval Office inadvertently revealed the six secrets she hid in Haiti after a disastrous hurricane struck in 2010. Trump may have referred to the third world country as a shithole, but Hillary has got some serious skeletons in her closet when it comes to Haiti. Once again, President Donald Trump is catching heat for calling a spade a spade. And, as usual, the media is focusing on the wrong story. Haiti is ranked number 181 on GDP per capita out of 198 tracked countries. For human development, Haiti is 137 out of 151 tracked countries. For murder, it's number 173 out of 219 tracked countries. In short, the place is a certifiable shithole. I'm still waiting for the Democrats to begin submitting their Haitian vacation photos to prove me wrong. So, instead of stewing over the fact that Trump referred to a disgustingly dirty and alarmingly dangerous third world country as a shithole, we should all be asking why Haiti is such a shithole. But no one is asking that question. Perhaps that's because Haiti wouldn't be such a shithole if the Clintons had not stolen money from Haiti relief to pay for Chelsea's wedding. Then Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump raised the matter in the third and final presidential debate, when he told Hillary Clinton, I was at a little Haiti the other day in Florida. And I want to tell you, they hate the Clintons because what's happened in Haiti with the Clinton Foundation is a disgrace. Kim Ives, the editor of Haiti Liberté newspaper, confirmed Trump's story, saying a lot of Haitians are not big fans of the Clintons, that's for sure. The fact the Clintons kind of took over things after the earthquake and did a pretty poor job of it translates to why the Haitians have a pretty dim view of them. Donald Trump has said the work of Bill and Hillary Clinton in Haiti was a disgrace. What really happened? The Clinton family, they are crooks, they are thieves, they are liars, says Haitian activist Saharoud Andre. He has been leading protests outside the Clinton Foundation headquarters in Manhattan and Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign base in Brooklyn for the last two years. He said protesters from his small activist group, the Committee to Mobilize Against Dictatorship in Haiti, will continue to level their allegations, so far all unproven, if the Democratic candidate wins the White House. Source, BBC Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State and Bill Clinton was UN Special Envoy to Haiti when the January 2010 earthquake struck, killing an estimated 220,000 people. Thereafter, some $13.3 billion was pledged by international donors for Haiti's recovery, and Bill Clinton was appointed co-chairman of the Interim Haiti Recovery Commission IHRC, along with Haitian Prime Minister Jean Max Belriff. However, the IHRC found itself under fire over the slow pace of recovery, even with so much money having been pledged to restore Haiti. Later, it was revealed that only 9% of the foreign aid cash went to the Haitian government and 0.6% to local organizations to aid in Haiti's recovery. So, what happened to the rest of those billions of dollars? Shortly before voters flocked to the polls to elect Donald Trump president last November, WikiLeaks revealed that Chelsea Clinton used Clinton Foundation funds to help pay for her wedding. Chelsea Clinton used the Clinton Foundation's resources for her wedding, an aide to former U.S. President Bill Clinton wrote in 2012, according to emails released by WikiLeaks. They appear to show that Doug Band emailed John Podesta, chairman of Hillary Clinton's 2016 presidential campaign, urging him to speak to her and end this. The investigation into her getting paid for campaigning, using foundation resources for her wedding and life for a decade, taxes on money from her parents. Mr. Band wrote, I hope that you will speak to her and end this. Once we go down this road. Source, Independent. As the media and the Democrats continue to lambaste President Donald Trump for referring to Haiti as the shithole it is, remember that it might not be such a vile place were it not for the Clintons who lined their pockets with money that was meant to be spent on Haiti's recovery after the 2010 hurricane, only to spend it on a lavish wedding for their little brat Chelsea, Chelsea.